welcome to All Things Manish, the YouTube channel that gives you the reviews that could matter to you. Now I bet you're wondering what on earth am I doing sitting down here on the kitchen floor? Well, we're going to be looking at this, the Shore Flap electronic cat flap. When we first got our cat, or shall I truthfully say, when he first adopted us to look after him, he had no way of getting in or out of the house without us opening the back door for him. This really caused some issues in terms of the times of day and night that he actually wanted to get out. And he was a cat that enjoyed being outside, especially in the summer, where he tends to sunbathe. And at three o'clock in the morning it's not something that you really want to do which is to get out of bed and let the cat out so we decided we needed to look for something in terms of a cat flap that would suit our needs first of all we wanted it to be electronic so that we could actually program it purely and simply for just our cat that way we avoided any intruders getting into the house Secondly, we wanted it to be able to be free running in terms of the cat being able to come and go as he pleases. This Shore Flap cat flap did just that. When it came to the cat flap and the electronic side of it, it is pretty good. Um, up the top here, you've got a, an LED screen which shows up all the controls that you need and the adjustments that you want to make. Now this cat flap allows the cat to actually be registered within the electronics of this cat flap. It works on the cat's microchip and basically the door opens whenever the cat comes or approaches the door and you can hear it clicking. The cat can then go out and then of course when he wants to come back in, again the microchip's read in the electronics of the cat flap, the locks come down and the door is open for the cat to come in. The door will automatically close and lock, which makes this system even better. There are other adjustments that you can make as well. For instance, you could put some sort of curfew on your cat. In other words, you can actually put timers on when your cat can go out and come in. And that really is pretty good from that point of view, although we've really never used it because we just want our cat to have that freedom to move in and out. The controls are worked by four very big batteries. These batteries don't tend to run down very quickly. In fact, we've only replaced them once in the last six, seven months. And that's not an expensive item at all. And the electronics are pretty good. They do work and we're really happy with the ability to be able to adjust in terms of uh, how our cat is able to come in and out. When it came to fitting this cat flap, it was a bit daunting when I took it out of the box and read the instructions. The fact being that we've got this new double glazed door, which we've only had a couple of years or so, and I was going to have to cut a huge hole in this double glazed door to fit this cat flap in. The instructions were fairly clear, and uh, to be honest, like, you know, I suppose really any good DIYist should be able to do that. I did actually inquire on the internet as to whether there were people that would actually fit this cat flap, and there were. However, the cost was enormous. So that decided, that made me decide that I was the one that was gonna fit it. So I purchased a saw, so that you can actually drill four holes, which is what's in the instructions, and then saw between the four holes, popping out the hole itself. Um, to be honest, I found it quite easy. And the whole thing, the whole unit was fitted, cut and fitted and measured uh, within about 30 minutes. And it really does uh, actually fit lovely. And the fact that it's a white color as well, it literally blends in with the white of the back door. And it's a nice fit. Okay, I wouldn't say it was totally sealed from the outside in terms of uh, drafts or anything, because around the edge of the door, there is a very small gap. But in the winter time, we really never felt that, and it wasn't a problem, to be honest. But what it does do is it gives our cat the freedom that he really deserves. 
I did research on the internet about how cats were able to actually adjust themselves to opening this door. Because when the cat approaches the door, there is a loud click noise. And I would have thought that would put, basically put the cat off from even going anywhere near it. However, we did actually get him to come up to the door a few times. This is before his microchip was registered. And we actually got him to come up to the door and we could hear it clicking. And what we did to train him was basically open the door. He smelt the air outside, realized he could get out that way. And he moved through the door, albeit very easily and very cagely at first. The same coming back in, it took about two or three days for our cat to be able to get used to the idea. And that was about it. From then onwards, he just did everything on his own. And uh, I was very surprised at how long it took him to actually sort of um, get used to the fact that this was his door to use. The size of it is pretty big. This is the biggest size. And you could get a small dog coming through here. I'm not sure what type of dog or what breed of dog you'd be able to do it. But certainly the microchip again is actually read in the control units and allows that door to be unlocked for the dog, or in this case, our case, the cat. With intruders, we have had intruders, or shall I say other cats, come up to the door. Being as it's see-through, they can see right through uh, into the kitchen. And being cats, they're very curious. However, you can hear it clicking, but it's not reading their microchips, which means that the locks here at the bottom do not go down and allow the intruder cats to come in. Uh, it's quite funny at times when our cat actually sees these intruders at the door and as he approaches the door, they pretty well, well run off. Considering the fact that our cat is about six kilos and is quite a big boy, um, you know, as I say, he does get through that door very easily. The quality of this product is really good. All the edges are nice and smooth. They fit nice and flush up against the door. You can also fit this door to glass and to wood. It's up to you and up to obviously what back door you have. As I said, I found no real problems at all in cutting out this um, double glazed panel. It really does fit flush. The outside is really nice. It's got a sort of a tunnel that uh, the cat comes into. It's at a nice height for him to be able to get in and out. And I would say this has got to be one of the best purchases that I've actually made in the last year. To give, to give him the freedom to actually move in and out as and when he wants. And I can tell you now, he really does enjoy it. And uh, that freedom as well. It's, um, I, I think, as I say, it's a really good buy. It is, the door is plastic, it's not glass. So it does take a bit of cleaning at times as well, because obviously the cat coming in brushes up against the door and you get this hair and everything. And it gets a bit grubby at times, but it only takes a couple of minutes to actually clean the glass. And um, it's, it's as, it's, as you can see here, it's nice and clean and ready for him to come in and out again. I hope you've got something out of this video in terms of some information. If you're a cat lover, I do, uh, recommend this product <clears throat> from the point of view that I think it's really good and it's really done a great job for us. Um, I will leave the links below for anybody that's interested. I will tell you now that they have upgraded this in the terms of electronics. The style and everything is the same but the electronics have changed because now you can download an app onto your mobile phone or mobile device and it connects to the electronics of the door and allows you to open and close the door. It allows you to set curfew times for your animal to come in and out. It also informs you when the animal is coming in and when the animal is going out. Bit more costly, I must admit. It works off your home internet or home Wi-Fi, but I would imagine if that's the route you want to go down, I, I doubt very much there'd be a problem. But I'll leave the link for that as well below. So if you are interested in that one, then you can connect quite easily. Well, remember, you can always go to our uh, web page, which is a website, which is uh, www.allthingsmanaged.com, or you can leave comments 
on our Facebook, Twitter or Instagram pages or leave comments down below. Thank you for watching and remember, subscribe. We love to get more subscribers. In the meantime, remember, all things manage.